in this section, as you can tell, we have a stream of ideas and demos. Uh, the second demo is going to be um, us onboarding an Apple device. I think, in fact, Mark's personal device. Um, onboarding into a Solana network um, with eSIM, embedded SIM capability. The value of this is, of course, you know, we talked about a lot about devices and traditionally physical SIM cards have been thought of as, you know, this thing that you get in a box and you need to unwrap it and you need to take it and you need to use that awkward pin to take the, the card out and you put another one in. So that manual effort come, becomes cumbersome if you're supporting hundreds of these devices in the enterprise space. So uh, very excited about rolling out Embedded SIM. We're offering it as beta right now to select customers, but it'll be part of our uh, production solution very quickly. Um, allows you to roll out Salona connectivity to a variety of different devices out there. So with that, uh, I will shut up and I will let Mark take the screen over for some uh, demo. Hello everyone, it's Mark again. And in this section, I'm going to demonstrate how you can onboard uh, end user device, like such as this iPhone, to the Solona CBRS network using the eSIM, providing you a more flexible way in comparison to physical SIMs uh, to onboard, authenticate, and authorize these end user devices into the CBRS network. So let's get started with my phone. Uh, so we'll begin with, we're back in the Solona orchestrator. And in this example, you know, I'm just coming into the environment and I want this phone to, you know, I, I already have an AT&T AT uh, provider uh, for, for LTE, but I want to add, I want to be able to add uh, CBRS, Solono CBRS to this phone. So I'm gonna ask the administrator or kick off some automated workflow, right, to add a device, right? So here I'm doing this over the user interface, but this could easily be done also uh, via APIs, right? So on the administrator end for, for allowing this device, uh, we'll go to the particular eSIM. Uh, you can see here, previously in the interface, we have physical SIMs on the list, uh, but the account ahead of time will be assigned a set of eSIMs, right? So as the administrator, I'm going to say, okay, let's assign this eSIM uh, to the user. So first I need to give it a device group. So let's add it to the in this example, the Zoom device group. And the device group essentially gives us a way to group like sims and treat them in, in a similar way. Uh, next thing I wanna do is probably is name it. It's eSIM4. Right, so we'll go back to that device screen. Right. And we will activate eSIM4. We'll assign it to that kit, Solana Air kit that's next to me. We'll activate that. So now on the user end, uh, we will have to provide the user a QR code. That's a graphic that the user will, will pull into the phone to to get it going. So with that, I'm going to go to my share for the iPhone. And so everyone should be, should be seeing my phone, uh, home screen for the phone. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to cellular. And I'm going to add a cellular plan. At this point, the camera will come up. And however, the the QR code is received, it could be over email uh, or some other format. Uh, you would get that QR code. And so I'm going to look at the QR code right now with this phone. Okay, and so I'm going to add that cellular plan. You can already see my AT&T one, but we'll relabel the secondary one that we're gonna use for this eSIM as Salona. Going to continue. And here's where we start getting some choices. You know, I, I heard some questions earlier around the dual nature of ha you know, having both of these sims. Here, here's where we get to make some choices. So 
for the default line, what we would use for calls. We could say in this case, I want to keep receiving calls on the provider, on the AT&T provider. I'll do that. For iMessage and FaceTime, uh, in this case, I'll, I'll, I'll select the same. I'll keep it on the, on the phone number. And finally, for cellular data, in this case, I will pick Salona. This choice here, allow data switching, it allows the phone to choose between uh, the AT&T provider or Solona uh, as appropriate. If, if one has better performance or the other, the, the phone can select, uh, but I'll, I'll, do, I'll deselect it for now. And that's it, and hit done. So now you can see that I have uh, two cellular plans uh, on my phone. And to route the car warranty people over to Salona and Black. <laughs> no, not yet available feature. <laughs> yeah. That's a license, the Black Hole license for that, I think I'd actually pay for. Right, and so we can see here that that particular SIM is now connected. And that's it for the, the eSIM onboarding workflow. So in summary, it needs to be streamlined for the provider. So again, we'll, in the back end of Solona, we'll handle bringing in these eSIMs. All the administrator has to do either through automated fashion or through this interface, assign. And on the user end, needs to be very easy. So just go into the cellular section, scan that photo, and you're, you're ready to go.